Hi guys, it's Kelly from Cars by Christine here with you on a Technique Thursday to share with you bonus stamping. You guys, I just made that up. <laughs> you probably know that though. Um, so, what is bonus stamping? And I was thinking, what should I call this technique? Because I just don't know. You can see I made a beautiful background of polka dots. Um, I actually made that and I used the Snailed It stamp set, which is fun and just amazing in and of itself. But when you open it up, you get this bonus little freebie. <laughs> you pop it out because um, then you don't need to worry about getting ink on this little piece of rubber and pressing too hard and getting a filled in um, thought bubble. But if you pr um, pull this out, you have a perfectly good bonus rubber stamp. So flip it over, put it on your block, and take your cardstock. Now, I just made a repeating pattern to um, make a background, but essentially it is a rubber stamp now. I mean, it was a rubber stamp. It's excess that is not used for anything else. So you can totally just use it as a stamp. Um, obviously, you can use it for a repeating pattern like I'm doing. Um, and I'm sure there's so many more creative ideas that you can do with this. But um, another thing I wanted to say is I am doing tone on tone stamping, which is taking a pool party piece of paper and a pool party stamp pad and stamping that same color on top of its corresponding paper. Um, so that's kind of how, and it, it's going to dry a little lighter, but that's kind of how I created this background for you. And from there, I just took these elements from the Snailed It set and corresponding dies. Um, so there's a really cool, like, postage stamp looking die. Um, and then I stamped Hello in Memento. Then I stamped this... <laughs> adorable little snail and colored it in with um, petal pink blends and then on the shell part we've got pool party and daffodil delight and then I pulled in Bermuda Bay to kind of get a corresponding color that's a little darker and then I took this crinkle seam binding ribbon and I don't know I wanted ribbon on this card so I kind of just laid it over and wove it back and forth on a piece of tear and tape that's on the back of here just to give it a little texture. I mean, obviously you don't see real much of the ribbon. I should bring this up closer to you guys, right? Um, obviously you don't see real much of the ribbon, but um, I thought it was just a nice little touch. And then I took a strip of vellum along the back and tore it. And then it, I felt like it needed just a little something more. So I grabbed these resin hearts, which I love so much. They come in white and red, and um, I use the white here. And then I was very strategic about how I placed them, because vellum, you can typically see the adhesive through when you use it. Um, and I like to use dimension not dimensionals um embellishments in an odd number so i i chose three and i strategically put two of them on the vellum so that i could put some liquid glue behind it so it's not adhered down anywhere besides where it's hidden so i put a good amount of it, liquid glue behind the focal image and then i stuck my embellishments down and then put just a real tiny little bit of liquid glue behind the embellishments so that when I stuck it down, if the glue um, seeped out, it would be hidden behind the embellishment. So you can see just a really tiny little bit squished out um, that you can see beyond the embellishments, but you really, really can't tell. So that is my cutesy fun card. Um, typically I don't do cutesy fun things, so this was kind of a little hard for me, um, but I really wanted to work with the snail that said I thought it was so cool that I had that little bonus stamp in there for you. 
So um, let me know what you think. Have you found any other bonus stamps that you could use? Um, it's fun. You, sometimes you got to think outside the box and get creative and push yourself to do something a little different. So if you do make something with this Snailed It bonus stamp or find any other bonus stamps in any of your sets, let us know. Um, share a picture in the comments um, and we'd love to see it. So I hope you have a wonderful Technique Thursday and look forward to the weekend ahead.